Hi everyone, welcome to the Discovery Space. My name is Taryn and today we are behind the scenes getting a look at some of the youngest visitors to the Discovery Space. These are our baby stick insects. So when you've come to the Discovery Space, you might have seen our really big stick insects. These are our little babies. So let's have a look. Our little babies at the bottom, we keep all of the eggs we collect. We've got lots of them here, you can see. We collect all of the eggs and we leave them in here waiting for our little stick insects to hatch out of them. So once they hatch out, they're not very big at all. They look a bit like the size of an ant. And I've just spotted one who's just hatching now. Come and have a look. Can you see that one on there? He's only very, very, very small and hatching out of his egg right now. Isn't that exciting? It's our very newest friend at the Discovery Space today. There it is. And you can see his green colour. When they're babies, they're still green. But we'll notice later on, as they become adults, they change colour. We'll see what they change to. And then as they grow, they live in here. And they eat lots and lots and lots of leaves. We put lots and lots of leaves. And look, here's a curious one who's climbed off the leaf onto my arm. Them back on and put them back in and our baby stick insects stay in this nice little enclosure until they're big enough to go to the big ones we have in the discovery space so probably our biggest one at the moment is this one here so can you see how big that one is and he's still very green and when he grows a bit bigger than this we might take him outside to where all of our older stick insects live. That's where we're going to go visit now. All right, so now we're out in the discovery space and you can see that our very small stick insects have now grown a lot bigger. Now this little guy is probably still only about a teenager. He's still green, still kind of looks the same. Look how he's reaching up into the sky there. Stick insects like to crawl upwards and these guys would blend in really well with all of the leaves up in the tops of the trees. Here we go. You can see he's crawling all the way up there. Now I'm going to put him back in here with some of our other stick insects and let him crawl upwards onto those green leaves there. And do you know, stick insects are one of my favourite animals because they're masters of disguise. They can blend in to the environment around them. And we call that camouflage, when they can look exactly like what's around them. So the green stick insects there, when they're little babies, blend in really well with the leaves in the top of the trees. But when they grow a bit older, they change colour. Let me see if I can get an older one coming out, visiting us. There's one here. So I'm not going to pull them out unless they climb onto me, because we don't want to to scare it. Oh, there we go, that's it. Here we go. And you can see he's still reaching up. And this one here is one of our fully grown adults. Okay. Now these ones are really cool and special because if I tip it, they can cling on. They've got little hooks on the ends of their feet that help them to cling on to trees and branches and hide away from their people where people can see them. Now, do you think these guys, they're not green anymore, are they? They're brown. So that's where they get their name. Because what do they look like? They're staying really still and brown? That's right, they look like a stick. So they are stick insects. And these ones are a species called wolfing stick insect. And they live in Australia, so they're ones that we might see around Australia, if not in your backyard. Now he's crawling up my back, gonna keep going, and this is going to be crawling up, crawling up. <laughs> I think he's gonna crawl up into my head. Sorry, I'm gonna have to cut that. Martha and Liz are like killing me up there. <laughs> if you have more all over. <laughs> Well, now that I've put that one back into its enclosure, I can tell that one is a girl. 
because females and girls with those stick insects are usually are bigger and fatter than the males. And they stay still and they don't really fly around too much, even though they have wings. The males are long and skinny and they can actually move around a lot more. So it's very interesting that they look so different. One of the things I really like about them. Now these ones here live in the discovery space. All they do is they eat the leaves from the trees and every now and again we have to give them some water. So I'm going to give them a quick spray today and they'll be able to drink all the little water droplets. Give them a spray. A spray in here. And move about. And now we've seen our stick insects, we've learned about them. Once they're fully grown, we have them out here for you to come and see in the discovery space and you might even spy some little eggs in the bottom here. And then you can see how they grow. So say bye to our stick insects for now. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.